Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going for a little shop with me in George at Asda, looking at all their Christmas goodies. We're also going to see if they've got some bits for children in need, and if you're not from the UK, I will explain what that is all about. Then stay tuned all the way to the end of the video to see what I pick up in the haul. Now let's take a look around Georgia Astor and see what they've got for us this Christmas. I really like this sweatshirt, fa la 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 la, on it. Looks really cosy. £14 for that. Quite fancy it. Should I pick one up? And this t shirt. This Christmas, I'd rather stay at Hogwarts. Are you a Harry Potter fan? Let's see how much Harry Potter Christmas stuff they've got. They've got quite a lot of Disney Christmas. So this is like a little tracksuit for little girls. And now this, this is a bit more Christmassy. It's got the actual lights on it and the sparkly bow. Might get some of those for the girls, 10 pounds. Now quite fancy this for me, it's a little t-shirt. It is short sleeved, which obviously is not very December friendly unless you are in a very warm place, but very, very cute. Quite maybe fancy this dress as well. Not sure, it's quite high necked, quite long. I don't normally go for like the polo neck thing. Should I pick one of those up? Fluffy slippers, are they Christmassy? They are sparkly. Does that count as Christmas or are they just Minnie Mouse all year round, non-Christmassy? Baby It's Cold Outside, I've seen a couple of bits of this Baby It's Cold Outside range, both in the homeware and the clothing. And this is cute, I don't know whether I should get it or not. It's like a sweatshirt dress, but this kind of frill bit, I don't know where that will sit. That's 16 pounds, might pick one of those up and try it on and see what everyone thinks. This is Baby Yoda, I think his name's Grogu. Must admit, I haven't seen The Mandalorian. Looking in the boys section for Christmassy stuff, I always find all year round, I never like as much of the boys stuff as I do the girls stuff, so it's looking a bit thinner on the ground in the boys section already as to the Christmas offerings. They do definitely have more choice for girls. They've got this little sweatshirt in the boys section, a couple of Christmas t-shirts. A lot of it all seems to be very gaming based. So if you've got a child that isn't really into day gaming, then there tends to be less available. So lots of Christmas gaming themed stuff. So if you've got a little gamer. Now, I've having said William's not that into gaming, he does like Minecraft. Uh, he plays that on his iPad rather than on a console. So that's a maybe for William. He does love Star Wars, although this is an adult t-shirt, but my teenager likes Star Wars too. So that is an option for him. And that is 10 pounds. Moving into a bit of a homeware section, it's looking very snuggly here with the candles and the blankets and the cushions. Cozy this Christmas, I do like that one. And I really like the penguin blanket, my auntie, loves penguins. I always pick up anything that's got a penguin on it for her. Sweater weather, that is not technically Christmas, but it is wintry in the cushion section. They've got lots of just generally very nice cushions, so all year round you can kind of rely on Georgia Asda. But this one with autumn leaves, is that kind of, well, autumnal, wintry? Anyway, back into proper Christmas stuff. They've got such a good range of Christmas things in Georgia Asda at the moment, guys. Loving all the plates, all the kind of gingerbread themed bits. I love the gingerbread men all round. This dinner set is so, so cute. Is that just £18 for 12 piece dinner set? That's really good. Giant, giant jug. It says it's a gravy jug, but you could put anything in it, I suppose. I love the little gingerbread men on the kind of pasta bowl things as well. And what a cute teapot. I mean, not many people actually use teapots necessarily that much anymore. Perhaps people make things just in the cup. But if you need a teapot, there's a fantastic Christmas one. They've got a really good range of Christmas chocolates, good for stocking fillers and things. And just look at all these Christmassy gifts. And oh, who is feeling Christmassy yet, guys? Let me know in the comments. So some of these are good for stocking filler gifts and things. And then also they've got such a good range of decorations and lights, so many different choices. And really good Disney decorations. So that little pink one, it's only £1.50. And these little characters are £3, which is a bargain. They're slightly different to the Shop Disney uh, character ornaments, but they are about a quarter of the price, um, maybe even less for some of them. So, you know, 
you're kind of getting what you paid for perhaps if you want something a little bit more elaborate shop disney is the way forward but they've got some really good options in georgia asda we don't have a pet but this is a really really cute christmas dog bed cat bed pet bed very sweet if you've got a small pet that would enjoy one of these at christmas head to georgia asda some nice craft bits for Christmas. Always good to have those in stock. You never know when you're going to be stuck in on a yucky day. And lots of quite novelty tree decorations for a bit of a wackier tree. Lots and lots and lots of different options. I quite like the Rubik's Cube. Don't know if I'd actually want it on my tree, but I think I'd like it. My boys would like this burger on our tree, I'm pretty sure. And the girls, I'm pretty sure, would like the rainbow lots if you're looking for something a bit more out there quite like rainbow father christmas he's quite cool really like this very glittery shimmery staff the top of the tree is a tree topper as well very very sweet a nutcracker we've never had a christmas nutcracker maybe we're missing out i love all these silvery ones we do tend to have a disney tree in one of the rooms oh we're, i'm saying 10 to we only moved last year last year we had a disney tree in one of the rooms and then i had a silver and pink tree in the other room that was primarily silver and pink with kind of ballerinas and other bits and pieces on it but i might pick up some extra silvery bits for that tree in fact both trees tend to be based on silver and pink because that's the color range in my house and then I add a lot of Disney on one of them really nice selection of baubles great selection of crackers crackers are always one of those things I end up forgetting and leaving till really last minute but this year I've been really good I've actually already bought crackers I really like this pass the parcel if you're having a Christmas party only four pounds and you don't have to go through all the faff of creating a pass the parcel loving this Christmas bedding with Winnie the Pooh it's absolutely flipping adorable and that's got tartan on the other side oh or maybe that's not a Christmassy one the other one was Christmassy but it's got red that could count as Christmas love the Winnie the Pooh towels oh there we go more there's lots of designs of Winnie the Pooh bedding so if you're into Winnie the Pooh we've got a child that's into Winnie the Pooh lots and lots of different designs look how cute that plate is so adorable Winnie the Pooh in a Santa hat has a nice little serving plate really nice set of plates there as well it's 35 pounds for a 12 piece dinner set they've got the pasta bowls they've got the mugs love this big sharing plate it's just adorable really adorable cushion in the background as well and then on to a bit of Christmas Mickey now these would go in our house these would go really well these little hand towels this bedding is kind of in with the other stuff so the Dalmatians are not Christmassy but this baby it's cold outside that's the same as the jumper we saw a minute ago really Christmassy and cool now this one Mickey and Minnie it's all kind of mixed together so there's like a Mickey stand some of it's Christmassy some of it's not it's very sweet though can you can that count as Christmassy bedding not sure not sure but do like it very much I love this dining set is it worth getting one of these the only thing is it's 40 pounds and it's only got four place settings so I'd have to get two is it worth getting one of those and then putting it away and getting it out every year I love this big plate as well for serving not sure what but serving things on it baby it's cold outside adorable oh do I need these Mickey Mouse Christmas oven gloves I mean answer below if it's yes or definitely yes still dithering about this homeware um, dining set for Christmas I did try and buy it online they were sold out so maybe I should get it love this Christmas soap dispenser that would go well in my kitchen uh, wandered into like a bathroom kind of bit this isn't Christmassy so these are non Christmassy Mickey and Minnie towels but I am tempted to get a couple of Christmassy ones oh, love those bowls technically not Christmassy but am I better off getting this set which is pink and grey and white which are the colours of my house and that's £35 for a set better getting that than the Christmassy ones lots of good bits here ah oh, some really Christmassy mugs do you guys get out Christmassy crockery mugs and things and then put them away or do you not bother the teapot is there again they do repeat some of their items through the store on different displays oh what a nice Mickey plate I do like Santa Mickey oh look see it's there tempting me again do I get that Christmas crockery guys wow saw these on someone's reel on Instagram and love this Mickey and Minnie baking stuff it's the pink and white and grey again so it's all year round but would make good 
Christmas gifts. Hint, 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 if any of my children are watching, get some of these little Mickey and Minnie bits for mummy. Love the tray to do a little bit of mini shape baking. Perhaps I should get the cookie cutters. What do you think? Now I really love these little ice cube molds. Now we don't actually need ice cube molds because we've got an ice dispenser in our fridge, but maybe I could make them use them as chocolate molds or jelly molds. Let me know if you can think of anything else to do with ice cube molds. If it's not making ice, I'm sure we can think of something between us. Oh, this Dalmatian stuff's super cute. Even though it's not Christmassy, I know we're looking for Christmas stuff, but sometimes we stumble into a bit of Disney stuff. There's the pink again. So we've got the baby, it's cold outside on the left, and the pinks and greys on the right, which is better. Oh, the grey Christmassy stuff is really nice, and that's only £25 for a 12-piece dinner set. Also, lots of very nice kind of kitchen utensily pots. I actually like to keep my work surface quite clear, but the Mickey ones are so cute. So now we're going to look at some bits and pieces, some Disney bits and pieces that aren't technically Christmassy but would make good Christmassy stocking filler ideas. If you love Disney as much as I do, please do make sure you are subscribed to my Disney channel and following me on my Disney Instagram too. So they've got loads and loads of Disney shoes, Disney socks, that kind of thing. Now as far as I'm concerned, Christmas is a time for giving things that people also might need anyway. So if leading up to November and December, there's anything that your children need, socks, underwear, anything like that. If you can get it with a character on it, ask Father Christmas maybe to bring that kind of stuff or wrap some things from you to go under the tree. It's more for them to open. If it's got a character on it, my children are generally happy. So nice Minnie Mouse jumper, I know my girls would love that socks they're always going to be happy with character socks my children are never happier than when they've got character socks cute little mini shoes perhaps not so good for a gift because you need to know the exact size but things like hoodies and things if they're gonna need them Christmas is a good time to have them now this mini coat actually would be quite good for the festive season because it's red uh, love this little hoodie with mini on it and cute little very very sparkly shoes too then we've got some nice little leggings and top sets. Or are these pyjamas? Leggings and tops or pyjamas? I'm not quite sure, guys. Are they? They would work as either, I believe. Would they be leggings and tops or pyjamas? And we've got a nice little t-shirt here also in the children's section. Kind of more of a traditional Mickey and Minnie on that one. And then a Disney crew, more of a kind of a modern gang on this one cute little quilted bags with little hidden mickeys on them make a nice gift and then bigger bags and things if your children need replacement bags that kind of thing for school or sports or clubs or whatever consider them as something to wrap and unwrap at christmas either from you or from the big guy in red living the life i was born to do my girls adore Frozen. On to the children in need stuff. I promised to explain what this is. It started back in the 80s, I believe, by the BBC, which is one of our TV channels. And it's a charity event raising money for children. And all of this merch is sold to go along with it. And lots of schools, companies, organisations get involved in fundraising for charity. And it all kind of comes together in this one big TV event where everyone pulls their efforts to raise as much money as possible for children that really need it. Now let's take a look in what I bought in Georgia Asda, starting with the Children in Need Pudsy Bear things. Now Children in Need is one of those days in schools that most schools market at some point. Some children in need days, they decide to raise money by everyone going in pajamas, and some days it's silly socks. It changes every year, but as of the time of filming this video, our school hasn't announced what we're expected to do, although I would be very surprised if our school are not doing something. So last year, I ordered the children jumpers, uh, I think William had a long sleeve t-shirt, the girls had, or maybe they were t-shirts, but they had the blush bear, the girly bear on them. So those all still fit. Now I wanted to buy something from the charity selection for the children. 
but I didn't see the point in re-buying tops. So I got them pyjamas. I figured they always need pyjamas and also if the children suddenly have to go in pyjamas, they've got Pudsy Bear or Blush Bear themed pyjamas. I got the girls matching pyjamas, surprise, surprise. These are the four to fives for Zara. And I got Bella seven to eight. I perhaps could have done with getting her eight to nine actually because she has got incredibly long legs, unlike her mother. So just to give you a difference, an idea of the size difference between a four to five and a seven to eight. These are a nice kind of uh, ribbed sort of pajama, kind of very stretchy. They've got these, they've got kind of like the sketched blush bear and the hearts on them. And then the legs, the trousers, that's the seven to eight. And these are the much shorter ones, which are the four to five for Zara. Those pajamas were eight pounds a pair. So if for children in need, they've got to go in normal clothes, just kind of children in need themed or silly socks or something, they can wear their uh, t-shirts from last year. And if they need to go in pajamas, they can wear these. And if not, they've just got some nice new pajamas that have also helped contribute to charity too. Then for William, he's also got a long sleeve t-shirt that he can wear if it's not a pajama day, but if it is a pajama day, he can wear these. I got him 10 to 11, he will be 10 in January. And they say Pudsy on the front of the top and then just some um, more like cottony, not like a rib like the girls, not so stretchy, just like a bit of giving them, but these are just like a cotton pajama. Not quite as snuggly as the girls' pajamas, but William kind of runs a bit hot. So I avoid buying him pajamas that are too warm. If they say it's gonna be a pajama day in school because the weather is freezing here at the moment in the UK, I will wish I'd bought them those really snuggly, soft pajamas that I saw in Georgia Dad's that I did love. But I just knew that my children would wear those in the evenings, but then as soon as they got into bed, they'd be like, I'm too hot, I can't cope with these. So these are more practical pajamas for actually wearing to bed for my children. I always like to join in with these days with the children. I actually bought myself a Pudsy Bear, or maybe it was a Blush Bear sweatshirt last year. Um, but I did pick up this t-shirt to go underneath it. It's got kind of rose gold kind of stud things and then sparkly spots. Is that Pudsy or blush? That's blush. It's my phone going off. My phone's still going off. Although that's rose gold, that's actually Pudsy Bear. So that I bought in a size 10. And again, I mean, I could probably wear that to bed or something as pajamas. I tend to wear like t-shirts and things to bed or I can just pull it out every year for children in need. Then also for the girls, regardless of what they're wearing on the day, I got these scrunchies. The girls love a scrunchie. They like to wear them on their wrists. They like to have them in their hair. Um, so if on children in need day, well, whatever it is, they can wear these scrunchies, hair or wrists. This yellow one's actually got ears on it, which is really cute. The spotty one's got a bow and then the pink one with blush bear is just kind of a normal scrunchie. And they were free apparently. No, these were five pounds. Now the first of the Christmassy items that I bought, I actually bought my auntie for her birthday a penguin Christmassy blanket, which was really soft and snuggly and gorgeous because she loves penguins. I actually bought loads more Christmas bits and almost all of them were Disney. So I decided to include those in this Disney haul full of Georgia Asda Disney stuff, plus loads of other Disney goodies. So check out that Christmas Disney haul next or another video on screen. Thanks so much for watching. I shall see you in the next video. Bye.